Affordable housing is getting harder and harder to find here, but now a Tacoma biologist is trying a new approach to solving the region's affordable housing problem. According to Zillow.com, across the country, the median home price is $221,000, a bargain compared to the Puget Sound region, where in Seattle, the median price is $733,000, Everett, half that at $370,000, Federal Way, 358,000. Tacoma, just below 300,000. Now there's a new community where the top price is well below that, but there is a catch. Drew Mickelson explains. It's a beautiful piece of property. Walk in the woods with Bill Ray. I'm around this all the time doing wetland delineations, feasibility reports. And it's easy to see he's a biologist. We have a two bedroom, one bath, which is about 950 square feet. But his new side job is selling real estate. In this direction is where the developable land is. By next spring, a portion of this undeveloped lot in the middle of South Tacoma will have the first of 50 to 70 homes built in and around the existing wildlife. But that's not what makes this project unique. We need to have housing that the, the working families of Tacoma can afford, but we also need to preserve the critical habitat. He and another family purchased the lot with the intent on selling LEED certified homes around 1,000 square feet for no more than $265,000. Similar homes go for $500,000 down in Bend. Who qualifies? Only those who make less than $75,000 a year. He's thinking teachers, nurses, cops, and firefighters. These are the same folks that are having trouble getting into a house now because of the, the current housing climate. Friends and realtors have told him he's crazy, saying he could do more with his money, especially in this market. We're not developers. We're two families that saw an issue in our day-to-day -day lives with friends and family struggling, and we're just trying a solution. Ray, the biologist, sees it as an experiment. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.